Behold the Barbarian Queen. Nature, it can be scary, it can be beautiful, and it can be dangerous. But the world is full of amazing creatures. These creatures are ants. Hi guys, this is Jake from My Living World's Ants. Today, we're taking a look at the Barbarian Queen, Campanotus Barbaricus. We'll also take a look at my journey in the last week, and an update on all my colonies too. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Over the last week, I've been out and about recording some footage for a new trailer for the channel. It's just a bit of fun and drama, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. You guys will be able to see it in a few days. I also trekked out into nature, going around scouting out nests which are getting ready for nuptial flights. If you don't already know what this is, you can find my previous video on everything you need to know about Lassius Niger. I spent hours searching for the ultimate colony, looking under every rock, climbing every tree, and travelling across many fields. It was a great adventure. Whilst being outdoors for countless days, I suddenly realised my ant empires were growing. But first, let's talk about my new queen. Behold, the Barbarian Queen. This is the species Campanotus barbaricus, also known as a carpenter ant. The queen can reach an extraordinary size of 18 millimeters. The workers range between 6 to 18, and their color is black and red, sometimes dark brown. This species can be found in southern Europe and North Africa. In France, they have been introduced as an indoor species, living in urban areas rather than woodlands and rural areas. And other parts are places in Africa like Algeria, Morocco and Libya. These ants are known to nest in wood. Unlike termites, they do not eat the wood, they just live in it. Although some species of carpenter ants are considered pests, as they break down wooden foundations of buildings, they do serve a purpose in helping with forest decomposition. These ants also farm aphids, like many other species of ants. These ants are both scavengers and hunters, taking down a variety of prey. They mostly scavenge at night and find dead insects. They will sometimes take down live prey too, there are two areas where these ants will nest. The first is the primary nest. This is where the queen resides and the humidity is higher to be able to control the conditions for the sensitive eggs and young larvae too. The older larvae and pupa will be in what's known as a satellite nest. The humidity is more dry and therefore these ants choose wood. This queen is starting off in a small test tube which replicates the environment in the wild, where it would start its colony in a dark tunnel below the soil. She has a fresh supply of water which she can drink directly from the cotton, and she is fed a variety of fruit, sugar and insects. Here, you can see her munching on a small bit of insect. She will eat it, chew it up, and then feed it to her brood. We can expect her first worker in just a few days, I'm very excited to record this process. Now, I mentioned that my ant empires were growing, and boy was I excited. My Messel Barbarous colony have a few more workers on the way. These little harvesters will have their own video coming up soon. My Lassius Flavus colony has loads of brood, weeks away from hatching, at least 20 more workers. The single Momica Rubra Queen has her first workers turning into pupa, 
they should harden and change. And the smallest colony that I have, Temnothorax Nyandalu, is bursting with brood. The current amount of workers is around 20 or so, but I could see at least 50 to 100 larvae and pupa making their way towards adulthood. This queen has certainly been very busy, but nothing will prepare me for the rise of the Mega Black Ant Empire and their first generation of elates. I came back one day and found not one, not two, but at least 15 of them, with another 30 to 40 on the way. I couldn't believe how many there were. This was very exciting and this is the first colony I've kept that has created their own elates, which I can observe and share with everyone. Now, I just have to figure out a way to set this colony up so that I can release these queens when the conditions are just right. If you want to see more about my Lassius Niger colony, find my previous video on everything you need to know about Lassius Niger. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to take a look at my ant shop and get 10% off on your first order with the code ANTS10. See you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.